Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will see how we can apply the validation on a HTML form. We will use the form that we made in the previous video. Here you can see that we have the two fields in a login button and uh, we have a login URL also. So if you did not watch this video and you don't know how to make a simple login form, then uh, you can watch our this video link is given in the description box. So what we will do in this video, we will apply the validation functions. We will show the error messages. We will show the error messages with the two way. One uh, in the one way, we will show the all error messages on a top of this uh, form. And in the second way, we will show the uh, error, me uh, error messages with the every field. And uh, then I will ask an interview question and please uh, forgive me because in the last video, I forgot to ask the interview question. So in this video, I will ask the two interview questions, right? So now let's start. So in the previous video, we make the HTL form here. Our controller is here. And uh, these are the two uh, routes for uh, our uh, view as well as the controllers, right? So for the view, we just created the login router. And uh, for the controllers, we got the users router with the post method because from the HTML form, we just send the post method request. So now how we can just uh, make validate, validate these fields. So let's check it out how it's actually working. So you can see that Anil Siddhu, this is the name and password, let's say one, two, three and something, right? And when we just submit it, this is our token and uh, this is uh, our username and password. So what if we just uh, forget to field one, uh, one field here? So let's try to submit it without password. Now you can see that our password is null, but this should not be uh, just go here because uh, we cannot make the password blank. So there should be some validations and that should be uh, just uh, added message on a top or with the add field and all right. So how we can do it? So let's start with it. First of all, just go to the controller and uh, make a validation function here. So just use here dollar $REQ and just write a function name validate and this validate function will take an array as an parameters and here we can use the field and uh, our validation as an uh, array key and key pair method right so just use here username this is our field here you can see that right and the second one is username password so this field should be required it cannot be blank anytime, right? So just simply make it in the make is make it is an uh, string. So now let's see what's actually going on here. So now I'm just going to refresh it. And if I just uh, put here in the both field again, like anil and password is like one, two, three, this is working fine. And what if I just uh, forget to put here name and just put here password? then we are not able to submit this form and you can see that it will just take back to this form after refreshing right because this is not actually matching the validation criteria right so how we can just check that what is the error so for that we will just arrange it in a proper manner also also but first of all let's check out the error right so just simply use your dollar errors like this and now let's try to submit it uh, we got some errors yep because we just misspell it or something errors right now that's fine uh, now you can see that we got an error that user field is required because we just apply the validation on a single field so let's say we just apply the uh, required field for the user password also right Yeah, that's fine so now I'm just going to submit it and now you can see that we got the two errors here so this is not the actual proper way that how we can show the errors so let's make a list for it so let's go for the bleed and just simply write here if we got any error so just use here dollar errors yep but before the if we need to use here at the rate 
like this and just and if also and if like this right and it have a uh, any function so let's check it that if we have any validations then we can just use here for each and uh, just use here dollar errors all right as an dollar err and just simply use here li double curly braces and just put here err and now what we are getting here okay so we got the again a uh, error uh, why i am actually missing the spelling for uh, error okay so now you can see that we got the two error fields of uh, two error messages this is perfectly fine if i just put here like anil then there should be only one error message here, here you can see that password field right this is one so if we just put here both fine then that's great there is a no error right so now one thing is more that that's okay we just put here a uh, two error field but how we can show these uh, error messages with our field like uh, I just want to show the username just behind the first field and the user password just uh, below to the uh, user password field how we can show it right so for that we can just uh, make a little bit change in the code so just remove this error from here and here let's take a span just below to the our uh, field and just use here at the rate error and our field name uh, will be the username right and just simply use double curly braces and put here dollar message and at the last just end it with the at the rate and error right so and let's make a color also for this let's add style color like red and something right now you can see that we got the error message just behind the just below to the field right so let's uh, just take this one from here and the up same thing apply on a user password also right so now let's uh, just refresh it again and now you can see that we got a password field uh, and the username field also so let's make some data here like anil and the password is 12 so that's fine but here you can see that there is a one more problem that password is only uh, only have the two characters so let's see how we can apply some uh, max value field numeric value field and minimum value field and all right so there is a lots of uh, other validations option we can use like uh, for the username our max value is 10 and uh, for the password our min value is let's say 5 right so now just go back here and uh, just apply here like password uh, uh, username is like anil and password is like 1 2 now you can see that the password field user password field uh, must be at least five character so that's great if i just put here one two three four five then this is working fine so now let's say let's check the max one two three four five and all max length also so just put here some text and uh, put here some numeric value and here you can see that the number may not be greater than 10 right so that's the way that how we can apply the validations and if we just use here normal things like anil and one two three four five six password which is the correct as as per the validation then this is able to submit so that's all so all right so now everything is finished if you have any query you can ask me in the comment box and in the interview i as i uh, told you that we will go for the two interview questions one interview question is why we use this csrf token right and the second one is uh, when we just got some error message like uh, this then can i just get the value from the form that we just submitted previously for example if i just make here like uh, 
anil10 something something this and password is 12 right so we got the added message in the both field but we just lose the data that we just filled in the form so how we can get this data back so this is the interview question and thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye take care